Hey everyone, The Division 2 is finally fixed. This is the Steam version running on Steam Deck. As you can see, it's not got the greatest performance, but we're going to cover the best settings that we can here so that you can get the most out of this very soon. But first of all, I wanted to cover off the fact that it is running. And for those that are wondering, Dark Zone does work as well. So the anti-cheat fix that they released today has fixed this completely. So it starts up correctly and logs you straight into the game, no issues at all, and with the default Proton, so no fiddling around needed anymore. So let's look a little bit more at the performance side. We've got low settings on the left with the medium settings on the right. As you can see, low doesn't look that great, but it does give 60 frames per second most of that time. And although it does look good, it doesn't hold 60 frames per second at all and does actually struggle in some moments to hit 40. And we'll cover that a bit more. But I am a sucker for the Division 2's graphics. I played a lot of this on PC with the Ubisoft launcher. So you can see that my character is a fair way up. You can see some more of those differences, especially on that foliage from the low settings over to the nice graphics on the medium on the right. So let's have a look at medium full screen a bit more. This is where you'll really see a lot of those graphics. In the gunfights, it does dip occasionally, as you see there, down into the mid 30s but it does hold the 40 for the most part and this is the bit i really struggle with is that although we do get some of those lag spikes in loading sections especially when a bunch more enemies start running in it is hard to give up those graphics for those low settings so let's switch over to the low settings and you'll see what i mean we don't really want to concentrate too much on the backpack because it doesn't look too bad but the foliage as we're moving around is really hard to ignore for me it really just does not quite look right on the low settings Settings, but we are much more stable over the 50 and 60 mark it does stick around that 60 for the most part but it does even dip down into the 40s on some sections so there is some optimization to be had here even on those low settings getting dips is not down to the graphics it will be down to the game's optimization so just to cover all bases as i do enjoy the medium a little bit more you can see some dark zone gameplay here so I was in the dark zone for a good 10-20 minutes with no issues with the anti-cheat or being kicked. But I did pick a fight with three yellow guys that really kicked my butt. So this is why I don't spend a lot of time in the dark zone. I'm really not geared up for it. I do just enjoy a lot of the time running around doing random things in the Division 2. And now I can do it on the Steam Deck. I'll be doing that a lot more. So my best settings personally is to keep this on the medium preset. With a minor detail of just changing the particle detail down to medium from high and then capping the Steam Deck's refresh rate at 40 hertz. So keep VSync on in game, cap it at 40 hertz on the Steam Deck, and then for the most part, apart from a few lag spikes here and there, you will have an absolutely awesome time on the Steam Deck. Of course, if you do want to push for that 60 with slightly less loading spikes, then you can go for the low option. You can pick this up for a bargain £8 currently as it has 70% off until the 26th of January. But if you are going to spend time in this, I would recommend going for the Warlords of New York edition at the extra £7, making it £15 as you will get nearly double the content. And keep your eye on the channel for a way to run the ultra settings coming very soon. Let us know in the comments below which version you're going to be running and we will see you next time.